Okay, so problem 3.10a of Crippet's fourth edition reads, a uniform line charge lambda is placed on an infinite straight wire, a distance d above a grounded conducting beam. So let's say the wire runs parallel to the x-axis and directly above it, and the conducting plane is in the x-y plane. The first question is, find the potential in the region above the plane. Okay, so to give you an idea, so this is a very similar uh, configuration as what we discussed in our first part, which is on the classic image problem. So here we have a XY plane, XYZ plane. So this is X, this is Y, and Z. So the XY plane is where your conducting plane is located and it is grounded. So you see grounded, this means that the potential on that plane is zero. Okay, so that means the potential for Z is equal to zero is zero. So that's your condition. Okay, and then we have a uh, uniform line charge lambda on an infinite straight wire that is parallel to the x-axis above the xy plane, d away from the xy plane. Okay, so if this is your xy plane, so if this is your y. This wire is lambda. Okay, so as, as you saw earlier, it's better to actually uh, redraw this in the view along the x axis. So, in other words, if you're going to redraw this, it would look something like this. So this is your y, this is your xy plane, and this would be your z. So in this case, this is your wire facing hue. So this is lambda. Let's call this positive lambda so that the other would be negative. This xy plane is a conducting plane at zero potential, grounded. So therefore, we can assume a negative charge on the other side. Negative charge can be found here, where the line charge is negative lambda. So this is now your new configuration without the conducting plane at the x, y plane. And the question is, find the potential above the plane. So we're looking at this area. So let's say this is your point, and that is located this distance away from your line charge lambda. So this is your point. We want to calculate the potential here. Using this configuration, the potential here will just be equal to the potential due to this line charge, positive lambda, plus the potential due to the image, negative lambda, located with this distance. Okay, so let's call this, because we're looking at the wire, so naturally, the coordinate system that we're going to use would be cylindrical coordinate system. Okay, so the coordinates in cylindrical coordinate system would be S, 
z v okay because this is an infinitely straight wire let's use this s to be the distance between these two to differentiate this distance with this distance let's call this s1 and let's call this s2 okay so we already know from problem 2.1 uh, we already know from problem 2.22, okay, you can review, we already calculated this. The potential uh, due to an infinitely straight wire at a distance S, just like this one, away from it, okay, is given by V equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2 lambda times ln of s over a where a is the distance of your wire from your certain origin so in this case that would be v okay so this becomes Again, D is the distance from the origin, which is our reference point. We cannot use infinity as our reference point here, as we discussed in problem 2.2, because of the fact that the wire extends to infinity. So you already learned that you, when you calculate the potential of a certain configuration, your the cho the uh, the assignment of your reference point will depend on the configuration okay if the configuration of your charge is uh is constrained to a certain location or confined to a certain region you can choose infinity as your reference point where potential will approach zero however if the configuration with extend a part of your configuration extends to infinity just like this wire, you cannot use infinitely as a potential because the as the reference point because the potential there would not be equal to zero. Okay, so from problem 2.2, this is the potential. So this is now equal to one over two uh, lam uh, lambda over two pi epsilon naught times ln of a natural logarithm of s over d. Okay, so therefore, the total potential V will just be equal to the potential due to the positive charge, let's call that V1, plus the potential due to the mirror charge, negative lambda, which is 2. Okay, so this is now equal to uh, actually, what we can do here, I just I'll give you a short of sort of a, a shorthand or a trick is that we, let's remain this four here. Instead of uh, dividing two with four, we place two inside the natural logarithm. So what happens is that this becomes a square, and this will make sense later on. So this will now be equal to. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, this should be negative. So this is negative uh, lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught times ln of S1 over D squared plus, because remember this is plus negative, and then lambda is negative, so this should be positive lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught times ln of s2 over d squared. Okay, so simplifying this, we now have 1 uh, lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught times ln of s2 s2 divided by S1 because this is negative. Rules of logarithm. So this is S2 over S1 squared. Now what is S2 and S1? 
Okay, what is S2 and S1? If this is, if this, uh, if this, for example, if this is your point, so this distance, this distance would be pi, and then this distance, So this distance is what? This distance would be Z minus T. On the other hand, this distance would be Z plus D. Okay, so S will be equal to S2 and S1 will now be equal to the following. So V will now be equal to lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught times the natural logarithm of Y squared plus Z plus D squared divided by y squared plus z minus t squared. Now this is now the potential for this configuration. And when you substitute z equal to zero, this becomes y plus d squared divided by y plus d squared. So this is 1. Ln of 1 is equal to 0. So this will uh, be consistent to our original configuration where in the potential at z equal to 0 is 0. Okay, so that's it. That's uh, that's the potential in the region above the plane due to the conducting plane at the xy plane and the infinite straight wire located d above that conducting plane and runs parallel to the x axis. 